Hi, I'm Matt Eland. I'm an instructor and data scientist, and this year over Halloween weekend, I ran a machine learning experiment to determine whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Stay tuned. So a while ago, my wife and I had what I would call an interesting discussion about whether or not Die Hard should be considered a Christmas movie. Now, I'm firmly of the belief that it is uh, a Christmas movie, and she's uh, firmly uh, under the belief of it's a ridiculous idea to consider uh, Die Hard a Christmas movie. Uh, and it was one of those conversations where we were kind of joking around and laughing a little bit, and we're going to move on um, just with neither of us having convinced the other one, uh, except for one little thing. The night before, I had uh, studied for and passed the Azure AI Fundamentals Certification from Microsoft. And uh, among the other things that this, this certification covers is machine learning. And uh, one of the uses for machine learning uh, is classification. So figuring out what group something belongs into. Uh, and as I figured, well, wait a minute. What if I created a machine learning model and asked it what it thought of, of, of Die Hard? Uh, that would give us a third-party opinion and help us resolve this conflict in an entertaining way. Uh, and so I set about to do that. Uh, I figured that if I could get a data set full of movies uh, and determine whether or not a movie is a Christmas movie, um, I could take that data set, feed it into Microsoft Azure's automated ML features, which is a, a no-code uh, machine learning uh, solution that's going to try a bunch of different uh, machine learning algorithms and, f and figure out which ones and which parameters or hyperparameters are most effective. Um, and it's gonna build a trained machine learning model that's gonna understand really the relationship between all these little columns and whether something should be uh, considered a Christmas movie or not. Um, so that was my plan, was to train a model like this and not show any data at all about Die Hard until it had a trained model. And once that model was in place, I would send it Die Hard and see, hey, what do you think about this? About this? Given these columns, uh, given this data about this movie, uh, should it be a Christmas movie or should it not be a Christmas movie? And really get an unbiased opinion uh, based only on factual data around movies that are Christmas movies or are not Christmas movies. So that was my plan. Uh, so a little bit of terminology before we go any further. Uh, in machine learning, we have this idea of labels and features. Uh, in classification. So uh, label is the thing that we are trying to predict. In our case, we're trying to predict whether or not a movie is a Christmas movie. Okay, And a feature is basically any other column that potentially contributes to that label. So the genre, the release date, the runtime, um, things like that. Those are all features in this data set. So given a set of features, uh, we want a machine learning model to be able to predict its label or whether or not it's a Christmas movie. Now, I needed movie data, so I went out to Kaggle.com, which is a data science community, and Kaggle has a lot of uh, free data sets of very good quality, uh, and I found a movies data set with 2,600 uh, stars, uh, and it looked to, to have a, a pretty sufficient level of information for me and my needs. Now, secondly, I needed to find a way of, of getting labels for the existing data. So given these 45,000 uh, movies in my database, uh, which ones should be Christmas movies, which ones should not? Now, I could have gone through 45,000 rows and manually put in whether or not I thought it was a Christmas movie, but that would have introduced my own bias. Uh, I could have my wife do the same thing, except, well, that would be A, using her time, and B, uh, using her bias. And so I thought, well, wait a minute. Let's go out to the internet. Let's find a list or a series of lists of Christmas movies. And if something shows up on at least two of the five top Christmas movie lists in my search results, uh, we're going to consider a Christmas movie. Um, so it came up with about 48 movies that it considered Christmas movies that were on at least two of these lists. Now, interestingly, Die Hard was one of these movies. It was actually uh, a Christmas movie on four out of five of those lists. And the fifth list, uh, Thrillist, I believe, um, explicitly said, sorry, John McClane, we're not calling you a Christmas movie. So all five of these lists mentioned Die Hard. That doesn't really matter for our experiment, but I thought it was interesting and worth discussing. So once I had my, my data and I had my labels, I now needed to kind of combine them together. So this is the process we call data wrangling, where you're cleaning your data, you're looking at your data, you're finding any outliers, you're removing any outliers. Uh, for example, unreleased movies, movies that were from before uh, our earliest Christmas movie or after our latest Christmas movie, uh, movies that were not released, movies that were not in English. Um, Dropping columns that uh, had uh, broken data, for example, the budget and revenue columns uh, were were both uh, uh, unreliable uh, and wound up being dropped. So I wound up with about 14,000 rows that uh, met the various filters. Uh, and I ran the experiment. Uh, so I went up to Azure. I created a machine learning uh, studio instance. 
Uh, by the way, if you're curious about automated ML, I have a lot more videos on my channel, so subscribe or take a look at those if you're curious about, about the specifics of this. Uh, but I uploaded the data set, the comma separated values. I said, hey, I want a new automated uh, machine learning run. Uh, this is going to do classification. I want you to predict whether or not it's a Christmas movie. Um, and go ahead and run this on my $0.08 cents an hour um, uh, compute instance. So very affordable um, experimentation. Uh, and it spits out some results, uh, which include both metrics and uh, ex explanations of the performance of the model. So the early models, uh, they, they focused mostly on, on the release month and the genres, um, but they didn't have a very good accuracy. So you can see like uh, the release month really does impact uh, whether or not it figured it would be a Christmas movie, but the actual accuracy was fairly low. It figured that most things were not Christmas movies. Uh, even things that were Christmas movies were generally categorized as not Christmas movies. Um, and so this wasn't a sufficient level of accuracy given existing um, Christmas movies. And so I said, well, all right, I need to do something to improve this. I, what additional information can we get? And I realized, well, if I looked at this data, I'm just looking at genres and, and run times and release dates. And I don't see necessarily anything that would tell me if it's a Christmas movie or not. What I really need is, is information about a plot. So uh, take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is this is some keywords associated with a, a popular movie uh, from the last 30 years or so. Uh, now, if you haven't guessed it, uh, hit pause. Uh, but this is actually uh, the original uh, Jurassic Park movie. So these are keywords associated with this movie. And you can kind of see from these keywords a little bit more about the context of that plot. It's not like a beat-by-beat a -beat plot explanation, but it tells you a little bit more about the content of the movie. Let's take another look at a set of keywords from another movie in the data set. So I'll give you a second to pause uh, if you want, uh, but this movie is uh, the classic Home Alone. And again, sorry with the memes, but uh, these are the things that make Matt laugh. Um, so I figured, hey, let's see if we can get these keywords into my data set. And if Azure can make more, um, get, get a higher degree of accuracy with these keywords. Um, and so I had to do a lot of experimentation to get my uh, model performance to get higher and higher and higher over time. Um, and so I needed to figure out how to get the keywords in and I couldn't represent each keyword as an individual column because then I'd have 14,000 columns and uh, uh, Azure wouldn't be able to find a, a, a relationship between things. Um, but what I ultimately found was that if I took all those, those keywords and I just made them a comma separated list in a single column and I enabled deep learning, Azure was able to find more relationships. Uh, the other thing I really had to do was I had to, um, I had to deal with the discrepancy between these, the labeled data and the, uh, uh, the non-Christmas movies. So I had 50 or 48 or so Christmas movies and 14,000 rows total in the data set. So I, what I wound up doing was, uh, in, in order to make the Christmas movies a little bit more visible to the training set, I had to upsample them. So I had to basically duplicate It's a Wonderful Life 50 times in the data set, for example. Uh, and duplicating these Christmas movies uh, made them a, a significant enough portion of the population that Azure was actually able to find a, a good relationship between these, these various data sets. So with these tweaks in place, uh, it came up with a really, really high performing model. In fact, uh, it, it had perfect performance. It really keyed off of the keywords. Uh, so if something was had a keyword of uh, Santa Claus, nerd, faith, gift, bell, beard, North Pole, you know, that kind of thing, um, it was very likely to be a Christmas movie. Now, I don't know why nerd was included in that list. I'll have to do some digging in the data to figure it out. Um, but that was sort of the idea there. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, things like uh, Killer Santa Claus, Lapland, Santa Claus Horror, you know, uh, these these things are, might or might not be a Christmas movie. Uh, so Azure was able to find these relationships using deep learning and uh, its classification routines. And I didn't need to know a lot about uh, the mathematics and algorithms it was using. It just calculated it based on the parameters I gave it and the data I gave it. Uh, so uh, I was satisfied with this model's performance and the explanation of, of how it worked. So I decided it was time to test. So I deployed this, uh, this trained model as an Azure container instance uh, with a real-time endpoint. So I could actually go out, send it some JSON and get some values back. Uh, and so I, I loaded up the JSON for uh, DieHard and I said, okay, I'm gonna send this to Azure and I'm gonna get back a value indicating what it predicts the uh, is Christmas movie column is gonna be. And so to send it the request, I got back a one. Now, in other words, uh, it thought the value for is Christmas movie for Die Hard is one or true. 
So, yes, Virginia, Die Hard is a Christmas movie, absolutely. Now, it could have been uh, 55% uh, certain that Die Hard was a Christmas movie, or 51% or something like that, and just round it up. So I wanted to get some sort of numerical indicator for how, uh, how much of a Christmas movie it was. So I switched it over from a classification problem to a regression problem, where we're trying to predict a numerical value. Uh, I made it give it the same parameters, same training, and I sent it the data, and it predicted a value. Remember, it's going to be a value between zero, not a Christmas movie, and one, meaning yes, a Christmas movie. The value predicted was 0.957 and change, or 95.7% confident that Die Hard is absolutely a Christmas movie. Now, if we drop the uh, the tags or the keywords of Christmas Eve and Christmas Party, uh, it gets much less certain. It says Die Hard is actually not a Christmas movie with those two t without those two tags. But you remove those two tags from the movie, that's not Die Hard. That's a different movie. Um, so, you know, welcome to the party, pal. Die Hard is absolutely a Christmas movie. Um, but here's the cool thing. Uh, this is all really cheap to do. Go out, take the same data set I used, use a different data set, run the same experiment, run a different experiment. I made, made, made some mistakes. That's fine. Let me know what I did. Send me a comment. Um, but this stuff is all easy to work with. But yes, you're absolutely wrong. Die Hard is totally a Christmas movie. Uh, so... Again, subscribe, take a look at my other uh, articles and content. I have the repository for this available if you wanted to take a look more at more details. Uh, and if you're really curious about this stuff, go ahead and study for the Azure AI uh, uh, Fundamentals exam, the AI 900 exam. It takes about a week to study for. It's a really fun exam, and it's going to give you a good introduction to machine learning and artificial intelligence on the Azure platform. Um, but just be warned that if you do this, you may wind up spending an entire weekend making a machine learning model to predict whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Happy coding.